Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. What do you do when a relationship changes? Just for fun, freak out. I'm Dr. Lisa and I'm gonna share with you a little bit about some tips and tools and tricks to uh, instantaneously move your freak out to a possibility. So just like every day you wake up, right? And you don't eat the same thing. Your body requires something else every day. You don't put the same clothes on every day, likely. Um, everything changes. In fact, the only constant thing in this world is change. So please expect your relationships to change. Some change for the better, some change for the worse. Before we get there, I don't even know if I'm gonna talk about that there. Whatever that means, here's what I say. And this comes from years and years and years of doing couples therapy in my clinic in uh, San Francisco where the couples would come in and it would always be arguments, fights, everything. And usually it ended up being about sex and money, money and sex. And one of the things that I used to tell them is, or ask them, how long have you been married? How long has this been going on? Just a very simple thing. Did you remember your vows? to each other, however many years it was, months it was, whatever. And they said, they usually say yes. Have you thought about it in a while? They usually say no. And I say, okay, you've been married three years, you've been married seven years, you've been married 20 years, but you never dove back in to what you committed to in the beginning. It doesn't have to be marriage, it doesn't have to be vows. You know, if this, you know, perhaps you have a civil union or a domestic partnership or are never going to get married or it doesn't really matter. You can still, you all still have an energetic choice with each other. That's why you're together. This is just a simple example. In their case, they were married in this example I'm using. They looked at each other and they said, no, we haven't. And I said, have both of you changed? And they said, yes. Has that change brought you closer together or further apart? most likely further apart. Um, that's why they're there, couples counseling, right? I asked them, are you done with the relationship? And sometimes it was a really hard question because one would say yes and one would say no. And sometimes they would both say no. And sometimes they would say, okay, we're gonna give this six sessions or six months, whatever it is, okay? So know that that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. I actually suggest that like every year you come back together maybe every three years if that seems like a lot come back together and you don't have to pull out your vows you know because maybe you know they were memorized or you made it up on the spot <laughs> you know how we are with uh having to show up right whatever the spirit was that got you to say yes in this choice that's what i'm talking about you got to find that you got to look for that and you got to create that every day if you can't find it and you've looked it's time to create something different. And that's okay. That's okay. Cause actually the person that you're likely with has also changed and maybe getting to know each other in the change and getting curious with each other will create the next generation of where you're going to go now. And that generation could actually be separating that generation of where you're going now could actually be coming more together, creating something different. It just depends. I can't answer for you. You have to answer for you. So expect the change and expect to grow because if you don't grow in your relationship, you won't grow in your life. And if you don't grow in your relationship, you might not grow in your life. And then you might blame the other person for you not growing. Make a choice to grow individually and collectively. And then every day embrace the change and note that to each other. Wow. You used to be so nervous about X, Y, Z. I really am proud of watching you get stronger and handle those things. Wow. That was a really interesting situation that you had in your business. And I really am impressed with the way that you navigated that your leadership skills um, have greatly improved and you seem more secure in yourself. Or I'm so glad to join on this journey with you. Thank you for everything that you do for me when I don't even know it. Those sorts of things, if you don't do them, do them. That's a change. If you like what I'm saying here, please like it, share this channel with people, subscribe and get notified by clicking on the bell. And of course, leave comments. I'd love to know what uh, change is for you.